Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. This is a short video. I want to do a product review. Uh, first of all, uh, this is a product that I purchased with my own money and nobody sent, even though I have some uh, product review that I'm going to do with some uh, tools that have been sent to me. Uh, but that's in another video coming soon. Uh, for this one, I want to share with you here in my lab. Sometimes, as you can see, I have a computer in there and a computer here, even though I have nothing on the other one. But I'm going to show you the product that I got because sometimes you got not enough hands. So this is always a problem because you want to, you know, put your multimeter or dial test and you want to put your oscilloscope and maybe inject the signal into a computer. And there is not enough hands or enough room to you, for you to do this. So I'm looking always online and looking at videos and trying to find products that I can use here in my lab to make my lab life easy and my work easy. And when I find things like this, I like to share. Well, first thing, these are uh, from this company. This is the contact information, Jonathan Giorgino. He is a uh, founder of this company and these are called Hands Free Probe. I bought them in DigiKey. He sent me a nice note, personal note. You can see this is from him. So I'm going to put him in here. He says, hello, Francisco. For those that know, my name is Francisco Mike Salazar Garro. And uh, so he says, thank you so much. As you can see, I hope that you find these digital pros to be a nice addition to your PCV by kit. And that's how they, he calls it PCV by kit. Please feel free to reach out with any questions or feedback. Thanks again. And when I see something like this, a personal note reading for real is not a printed thing. I take my time in consideration to help a company like this that really deserves to be, you know, show to the public. So for all those that do computers, let's say, you know, you use the KTAG or you're doing uh, BDM programming, you know how hard it is sometimes to be the, B, you know, the BDM frame and put the needles down. You have to find something to put, you know, to press the needles in place. It's a nightmare. So I found this, I wanna give you a close capture. So I'm injecting, as you can see, these are called PCB bytes, are a magnetic. So I had this magnetic base in here for this microscope. And I got another one under this one, uh, let me just move this in here. Well, as you can see, I got the other arms in here. These are just to hold up the board sometimes. These are for the test leads, and these are other hands or that you can grab things. And I have another one that works really well, but so I, all I did is put another metal. It's not really that heavy as, as in here, but it works pretty well as well. So I bought, as you can see, two kits. So that is the part number for those that wants to order. I'm not going to show you in DigiKey where you can buy them. But first of all, the nice thing about them. So be careful when you uh, put them in because this part here. So this is like the articulator arm magnetic base. And this has a thread on the front of you. Thread this needle. And it has two contact points. Hopefully you can see that in there. But it has two pins like I have in one. Let me move the camera so you guys can see that I have two cables on that one. So it's two cables. So you can have like I have right now my oscilloscope connect the four channels to it. And as you can see, I have two with two cables and two with just one cable. So two are injecting the signals and two are receiving the information out of that. Uh, I see that I'm checking right now in this computer. And then we can see that on the microscope. Uh, I also have that image in here so you guys can see it a little better. And I'm just going to record from the screen because it might not be necessary to actually, I can put them into full screen if I want to, if I remember how to do that. Might not be necessary, but you can see that it's live. I'm going to move the image so you can see that that is actually the actual component that I'm testing. And we have the, you know, the four pins in there like that. You can see better how small is that those needles can go into every or every any single IC or test point on the board. The same weight of the head is going to keep it in place. You want to make sure that the arm, you know, this articulator arm is as straight possible. So when you put this little weight, it pushes the needle down. And there's so 
precise that you can keep that with, again, hands free. So I can now do my test, inject the signals, wait for a response. I'm super hype, uh, super happy for this because I've been looking for this for so many years. And I do have another ones, like I found these ones on, let me show you this. This is from PicoScope. And I had this one from PicoScope, but they're just made for those uh, leads that had, uh, uh, you know, like the, uh, the ones that comes with the original oscilloscope, like PicoScope, and they're nice and they hold it really good and work really good. I have a video with these ones and they're actually really expensive and um, and they're nice. But this one, the nice about this is you can have, like I have in here, this cable, very nice silicone cables. It comes in a kit with like eight of these leads. They're like probably two feet or two, yeah, like two feet long. And then I can put an adapter to go to inject the channel or he has provided in every kit one of those a red and a black with a banana adapter that I had directly connected to my oscilloscope as you can see this is the red one and this is the black one and they have a connector on the back so you can put another probe if you want behind them too as well so going into the test so as you can see I got four pins they're the stray by itself in there so we can get that image out of here and now I got the oscilloscope, so I'm now going to turn my simulator on and I'm going to provide two signals and we can see the response. I will love, and I'm actually in the conversations with Techtronic and they're going to have a talk with me and we're gonna have a conference call because I think they're sending me an oscilloscope for to do a, a product review and keep in the channel an honest review. For those who know Techtronic, you know that that's the real deal. Uh, again, I have some uh, companies that are approaching to sponsor the channel and uh, grow and it's really nice and I'm really very happy for this. But yeah, these kind of stuff are the ones that I want to share. I can show, you know, around the world how to use the tools and when I buy a tool or when I get a tool, I like to use it on 100% on his capacity with everything. If it has an arbitrary generator, that's Tektronik, the MS, MSO 6 series. That's just the best oscilloscope there is probably in the planet right now. And I want to use that because it has a 15 inch or 16 inches touch screen. You can use uh, do the code CAN network, SPI, and some of the things that we use as programming and when you are building your own uh, equipment as well. So, but going back into here, as you can see, isn't this beautiful when you're working and you don't have to be like, oh, am I going to chore out? Can I do this test? Because you want to see the response. Is that ship good or not? Is this AC working? Is this working? We have, you know, I can see that we have, let me see, we have the yellow channel and the green channel. No, let me see, wait a second. I want to know which are the channels that I am injecting. So I have to follow. So this red, because I have two reds, two reds. So it's the yellow channel. The yellow channel has a signal and the other one will be a black one. I'm just following to see which one is and that will be the red. So yellow and red are the signals that I am providing. So yellow and red. And we see the one is a crank and the other one is a cams uh, signals that I use for order tests. So yellow, I can actually uh, stop this and that might make it easier to see in the eye because then I can, you know, move this channel down. So yellow and red, I can just let me turn some channels off. So yellow will be D and red will be C, uh, sorry, B. So we can turn this one off and these two off just for a second. So you guys can see that the signals are a little intricate, but yeah. So these are the two signals that I'm injecting. One is just an on and off like the cam and the other one is a little intricate uh, crank sensor signal, but it's just a way. So and now I'm gonna turn these two off and I'm going to see the response. And this is how you analyze data. Uh, you want to uh, see what are you providing? What is the response? So is a chip talking is the ship responding yes it is we can see that we have response in the other two channels and i don't have to hold anything 
like this I can have because I, like I said, I got another set in here. As you can see, I went ahead and bought two sets. It's nice because let me show you what it comes in the package. So let me take this out. So this is from the one that I have already been used. He sends. So in each set, it comes with four extra needles just in case you break it. And the instructions told you how to do it. You have to use a, a plier and pull straight, and then you can put the other one on. But then these are the actual tips that I'm telling you. Again, be careful because they're really, really sharp. Should be doing this with a tripod, but I'm already here. So let's do this this way. <laughs> all right, I got one out. Perfect. All right, so this is how they look. And the arm, you can see, that's just an arm, and it has a thread. As you can see, you know, it has two test points that you can just connect the banana adapter or a test lead over to your oscilloscope. And this presses down. So the same weight of the arm is going to keep it in place. As I said, you want to be as straight down possible. So this head, which is going to push way down is going to hold it in place and it's threaded in so it has a regular i think it's uh well i'm not sure you know the size of the thread so i don't want to say something that i'm not 100 percent sure but as you can see it's really 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 handy so now going on to let me just pause the video and let me find out information in, in digi key and then i'll show you that too okay now we are in digi key right here so again this is digikey.com and that is the product number and DigiKit should be 4005. Uh, you can have the whole DigiKit my number 2280-4005-ND. And this is the pros that I was telling you. I mean, you already see it on the video. It has a data sheet. So if you want to see what the dimensions are and everything, this comes on this guide package is exactly the same thing. And it's really, really handy. Let me show you the procedure of replacing the needles. I do have this set of like uh, hold downs and for the boards, which are really, really handy as well. And then this is, you see, you have to uh, remove with a pliers. So be careful not to uh, pierce yourself with that really pointy needle, but then you just pull it out with a plier and push it in with a plier. That's it. Just a plier. That's all you need. So going back to the uh, website so you guys can see it. And it's shipped from Binho LLC. And this is a company again. I'm going to put Jonathan's information in here. I, I don't know him personal, but I'm very happy to see a person develop something really well built. This is really, really good quality. Buy it with your eyes closed. I mean, don't even. And look at the price $89 for one set of four with the cables two banana adapters so it has a red and a black with the banana adapters at the end or eight cables two feet long they had kind of like the um arduino setup but these are nice it's like a silicon base um cable and four extra tips i am really really happy and i'm doing this review for this product again with no interest on getting anything from them just to share and help a company to grow and it's a really really good product so i completely completely um, recommend it for those it works again with ktac or doing programming whenever you open a board you want something like this don't even think about it just buy it it's the best so you guys have a digi key this is the only place that i found it with a real good price so go ahead and buy it and don't forget, again, subscribe to the channel. That will help me help others as well. So, again, guys, thank you so much for visiting the channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.